This is a review of the Nightcore SC4 charger. It actually describes itself as a superb charger, which it must be really good, and it is a good charger. And I'll just describe some of the details here. The things I like about it are it's a four port charger. It has a maximum charging current of up to 3000 milliamps for an individual cell or six amps total for all four cells. So it can quite rapidly charge four lithium ion batteries um, in you know just an hour or so if you if they're not fully depleted. Um, it's it takes pretty much any kind of lithium ion cell. It'll take the standard 4.2 volt maximum charge, which is what it defaults to. It can also charge up 4.35 volt uh, lithium ion batteries, as well as the lithium ion phosphate, which is maximum 3.7 volts. It also does nickel metal hydride batteries, and uh, it will auto detect the chemistry between lithium ion or uh, nickel metal hydride. So when you plug it in, you get a standard startup screen and that just tells you everything's good to go. From there you can just uh, put in cells and the default is pretty good. It'll, it'll charge lithium ion batteries at 2000 milliamps, which I find a little high, uh, but you can manually change that. You do have to change it for each cell and you have to change it every time. So I generally drop the cells down to about 1000 or 1500 milliamps if they're fairly good cells. For these ones that I'm putting in, they're batteries from old laptop poles, and so I don't want to charge them at too high a current, so I'll set it down to something more reasonable like 700 milliamps. So here you can see that it, uh, it has two buttons. One is the C button, and that just changes the channel you're displaying here. Uh, there's four channels, of course, display, only two are active in this case. And the other button here is the V button, and that just changes the variables you're displaying. It'll display the charging current and uh, voltage. It'll display how what the internal um, internal resistance is of the batteries, and it'll display uh, the current amount of time you've been charging, as well as how many uh, milliamp hours you have put into your batteries. And you can just toggle that through. It will it, if you just leave it alone. It will cycle through the displays of the, the three different displays. It won't cycle through the channel. It'll just leave it at whatever channel you had it at. So if you want to look at a different channel, you do have to press the C button and that'll switch to another channel. If you hold down the C button, like I did here, you can then change the charging current. And you just do that by uh, pressing the V button until it selects the current you want. In the case of lithium ion batteries, you can also change the charging voltage, but uh, for most batteries, just leave it at the default 4.2. If you are charging the lithium iron phosphates, obviously you have to set that down to a lower voltage of 3.7. Once you've uh, selected the proper charging current, just hold down the C button again, and that will begin the charging. And here I can you can see cycling through the various um, variables and you can see that it's uh, charging at 700 milliamps now and uh, it's just starting the charge cycle. All right, after a bit of time here you can see that it has um, dim the display. It does that after a few minutes. You gotta press any button and that will reactivate the display. One thing you should take note here is that it will list the uh, current cycle of programming it's in. For lithium ion batteries it will do a constant current charge which is the charge current you specify and then it'll follow it up later by a constant voltage charge when it's getting near the end of charge. Okay, after a uh, while longer, here at about two and a half hours later, you can see now it has switched to the constant voltage level of charge, and it's uh, almost done. It's charged up to 4.08 volts at this point, and it'll stop at uh, close to 4.2. And finally, we're done. It will just uh, freeze the display here and show you that they are full as well as just tell you they're full in the display. 
And uh, you can look at the total milliamp hours that it's put into your batteries. In this case, 1901. And the other one has taken uh, a little over 1600 milliamp hours. These are older cells. So again, they won't charge up as much as uh, fresh cells, but uh, they're not bad for old laptop batteries. Getting out the batteries is a little tricky. It's tight, but uh, they come out fairly easily. And here um, I'll just show you what they would eventually charged up to. In this case, 4.18 volts. I've had batteries, they usually come off uh, fresh cells at about 4.19. So they charge up to a safe voltage. And as mentioned earlier, they will charge standard nickel metal hydride batteries. In this case, you don't have a charging to choose from. You, the, the thing, only thing you can set is the charging current. It defaults to 500, which is usually pretty low for nickel metal hydride, uh, especially for the double A's. So I'll boost that up to 1000 milliamp hours usually for something like Eneloops. Um, they will charge by the uh, detect a voltage drop uh, to indicate the end of charge and it does a pretty good job at that i haven't found uh, any issues with charging in loops charging very old nickel metal hydride batteries i usually find it uh, you know these these are with an internal resistance of one or two thousand milliohms so they're they're not good batteries and in that case i will find that it will tend to terminate the charge fairly early so those kind of batteries should be thrown out though. But for standard nano loops, um, you can just change the charging current to what you want. You will have to change it for every single battery, which is a bit of a pain, but it's doable. Uh, I would generally use this as a lithium ion charger and use a dedicated nickel metal hydride charger for most of my charging needs. But if you do want a, a combo charger, this, is, this will do a good job on them. Again, here you can see it shows it's finished and uh, it will show you what the terminating voltage here is, 1.52. Um, and it'll then, if you press the V button, it will then show you uh, how much capacity you put into them. In this case, around 300 milliamp hours. They were pretty full when I put them in. So they were, this was just topping them up. And one final thing I'll show you here is how it handles large batteries. In this case, this is a D cell, a nickel metal hydride D cell, although you could do something similar with a 26650. Uh, uh, it will not fit four batteries that are large in it, so it'll only fit two at a time. But, um, you know, that's a bit of a downside. However, the charger is, is light and small, so I find for how often you need to charge large cells, it's reasonable to charge two at a time. If you needed to dedicate, if you had a lot of large cells and you need to charge a lot of it, a lot at a time, you could get a different charger for that. All right, thank you for watching.